Welcome. My name is Allison McComb, and as ASB Vice President, I would like to thank you for joining us for the Abraham Lincoln Middle School promotion presentation. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Ready? Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I am now pleased to introduce our ASV president, Adiba Awada. Hi Eagles, we have spent the last years at Abraham Lincoln Middle School creating memories, building friendships, and creating bonds with our classmates, teachers, staff, and coaches. This time has flown by quicker than we could ever imagine. The experience of beginning middle school can be different for everyone in so many ways. There are plenty of nerves and excitement rushing through your head walking into your first day of school. You meet new people and make new friends. You create memories that will last forever, from your first basketball game win, to the long bus rides with your teammates, to getting ready for your first school dance with your friends, old and new. My time at ALMS has taught me things that I will carry with me as I move on to high school. You must always stay true to yourself, learn from your mistakes, and make the best out of any obstacle you might face. Through all my experience at, at ALMS, I have created bonds and memories with so many people, and I would like to acknowledge some of them now. I would like to thank every single one of our teachers for guiding us and encouraging us to be successful. And I would like to give a special thanks to two teachers who have been more than just teachers to me. They helped me along the way with anything I needed. So thank you to Mrs. m, &M and Mrs. Dominguez. I will be forever thankful for you guys. I would also like to thank my family. My parents have helped me through everything from providing me inspiration to giving me the confidence and courage to follow my heart. They are the biggest part of who I am. I would like to thank my leadership class and basketball team for being a second family to me during the past two years. The leadership class provided me experiences and insight in many different ways that helped me to shape the person I am. Basketball and I had a love-hate relationship, from crying over running wind sprints to pushing ourselves extra hard for the love of the game, and singing in the bus after a win. Thank you to our coach who always believed in us, taught us to preserve, and treated us like daughters. So thank you to Mr. Palacy. We have all created our own memories over the past two years that we will cherish forever. Now we are beginning a new chapter of our life where we will meet new people and create new bonds. I hope that all our friendships and memories we have made will never be forgotten. Now we have four more years of memories to create and I cannot wait to experience it all with you. So I hope with all my heart that each and one of you cherish these moments we have spent together because no matter how much you may want to, you can never come back to middle school. Everything eventually comes to end, but the new chapter is going to be even better than we could imagine. It is now my honor to introduce our principal, Mrs. Sinikian. Welcome to our 8th grade digital promotion presentation celebrating our students who are promoting to the 9th grade. It is my pleasure to be serving our students at Abraham Lincoln Middle School as their principal. Thank you 8th graders for welcoming me as your principal from the first time we met at registration. I will remember the personal connections I have made with you, especially the daily conversations we had together during the student lunch period. Please remember that the personal connections you have made with your teachers, staff, and fellow students are the bonds that keep all of us connected. Knowing how to positively connect and communicate with your teachers, administrators, and fellow students is a skill that I hope you continue to develop when you arrive to your next destination, ninth grade. I want each and every one of you to be successful in high school. The minute that ninth grade begins, the high school clock starts ticking. Everything that you will accomplish in high school starts with the ninth grade. Good studying and sleeping habits, including good attendance, equal good grades. Getting connected to high school by participating in activities, clubs, and sports equals a sense of belonging. Strengthening your communication skills and talking positively with your teachers, your learning director and administrators, your support staff, and fellow students equals a confident self-esteem. So, future members of the high school class of 2024, are you going to press the snooze button on your high school alarm clock? Or are you going to awaken with enthusiasm the minute your ninth grade year begins? Let me tell you the recipe for high school success. If you wake up with enthusiasm each day of your ninth grade year, show up to school every day and on time, complete your homework and turn it in, study for your tests, and make daily positive connections with your teachers, staff, and students, you, my fellow Eagles, are going to soar to success. However, if you hit the snooze button at any single moment of your ninth grade year, you will have an uphill battle ahead of you for the remainder of your high school career. 
please do not press the snooze button. Finally, never forget to thank your support system, your parents, your guardians, your family members, your relatives, your close friends, your teachers, and all of the other important people who are in your lives cheering you on. Always honor your parents, your family, your relatives, and make them proud of you by making positive choices and decisions. Many of them have made sacrifices in order for you to have the education, love, and care you need in your life. You may not realize it now, but these individuals will be your lifeline all throughout your high school career. Congratulations, 8th grade Eagles. Our entire Abraham Lincoln Middle School faculty and staff are excited for all of you as you begin the next chapter of your educational career. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. And remember, when you wake up on the very first day of your ninth grade school year, do not press the snooze button. Will the students of Abraham Lincoln Middle School, class of 2020, please stand. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Fisher, our superintendent. Dr. Fisher, as principal of Abraham Lincoln Middle School, I affirm to you that each of the students standing before you tonight have met the requirements established by the Selma Unified School District Governing Board to be promoted to the ninth grade at Selma High School. Thank you, class of 2020. Please be seated. Hello, students, parents, family, and friends. Although we're meeting in this non-traditional setting, we are happy for our scholars as they progress to the next level of their academic journey. It is with great pleasure that I, along with the Selma Unified Board of Trustees, accepts this, the Promoting 2019-2020 eighth grade class of Abraham Lincoln Middle School as the incoming freshman class of Selma High School. Furthermore, it is our expectation that each of you will continue to do well in your studies as we look forward to celebrating you as a Selma High School graduate in the class of 2024. I want to begin by acknowledging the fact that under our current circumstances, you and each of your classmates have had to endure a very challenging time as you end your middle school years. We have all worked hard to make the best of this unfortunate situation. This has been especially true for your parents. They have ensured your health and safety and supported your learning at home, often while working from home themselves and doing their best to provide you with encouragement and understanding as they know that your very social world has been turned upside down. Parents, I know, and I believe our scholars know, that these past few weeks have not been easy. As your child's first teacher, you have worked with these students and stepped up to the many additional challenges that you have been faced with during this historic time. Students, always remember to take the time to thank your parents and family members for their patience, love, motivation, and words of encouragement that they have provided to you throughout your academic journey. As you progress through life, continue to always be kind, caring, and respectful to your parents, even when they are redirecting you and helping you to grow into responsible young adults. I also want to acknowledge your principal, Ms. Sanikian, and the Abraham Lincoln administrative team, teachers, and staff who have guided the growth and the development of each of our students. This team has taught, nurtured, and provided students with the necessary support to help them make wise decisions and to stay on the right path. You see, it really does take a village to effectively nurture and raise a child. And the Abraham Lincoln School family is a part of that village. Students, never forget that many people, along with your parents, want to see you succeed and will continue to support your success. This class is indeed special, and you will hold a place in this school's history that no other eighth grade class 
at Abraham Lincoln Middle School will ever hold. You have faced the COVID-19 crisis with positivity, resilience, and choice to do and be your best, even when you may not have felt like it as you finished up this school year. As I thought about my message to you today, I decided to say just a bit about those three words of positivity, resilience, and choice as you move on to some high school. When you hear the word positivity, what do you think of? Positivity can be defined as the practice of being optimistic or having a positive attitude. A way of demonstrating positivity is to simply think that, although things may seem a little rough right now, I am confident that they will improve and I will become better and stronger from my experiences. Positivity is a word for this class to embrace. Although the end of your eighth grade year did not occur as most classes may have in the past, you made it and you will take all that you have learned this year and the experience of the past several weeks and build on them throughout your high school journey. You have learned to think positively about things as you consider how to make the best of any situation. The next word I want you to think about is resilience. What comes to your mind when you think of this word? When I think of resilience, I think of the ability to bounce back. Resilience is specifically defined as the capacity to recover quickly from difficulty or toughness. Now that is definitely this class. You have shown resilience as you have worked with your teachers and staff to continue your education by completing your work through distance learning. Innovation and technology have demonstrated creative ways of communicating and connecting with your teachers and classmates, even though you are unable to meet on campus. Being resilient means knowing how to cope or handle things in spite of any setbacks. When you encounter a situation that did not go as well as you would have liked, or something happens that is beyond your control, face what may have happened and decide how to best get through it. You will have your parents and the adults on campus who can help you as you continue to develop resilience. Be sure to reach out so that they know when and how to support you as you are adjusting to high school. And finally, choice. What does having choice mean to you? For me, this can be simply defined as selecting or making a decision. In looking ahead, you may be a bit nervous about going to high school and wondering about such things as, how will I find my way around? Or will I meet new friends that are nice? Or even what kind of clubs and activities will be there? Or of course, how will I maintain my time and my grades? As you move on to high school, you will need to make wise choices. Every day we make choices and throughout life, you will be given the opportunity to make many choices. Remember that all choices have consequences. So think about the choices that you will make and how they may not only affect you, but your family and friends and all of those people who care about you. So congratulations are in order eighth graders. You have completed middle school and are crossing over the bridge into high school. You have worked hard, participated in various activities, and have demonstrated that you have what it takes to be all that you can be. We are very proud of your accomplishments and we are excited about the great things that you will do in high school and beyond. Your future is bright. Your potential is unlimited. 
and you can do and be anything you desire. As you remember those three key words of positivity, resilience, and choice. Now go, fly like an eagle and soar above the clouds as you explore your next adventure in Bear Nation. Thank you, Dr. Fisher. At this time, it is my pleasure to announce six very special eighth grade awards. These students have gone above and beyond when it comes to exhibiting positive character traits, involvement, academics, and athletics. Student of Character of the Year, Michael Rodriguez. In class, around campus, as well as competing in sports, Michael exhibited outstanding character traits. He would help others with classwork, he was responsible for completing his schoolwork, and could not be a more respectful young man to his teachers and his peers. Student of Character of the Year, Sofia Roque. Sofia demonstrates all of the Student of Character traits consistently. She can be depended on to provide quality work, collaborate well with her classmates, and positively contribute to our daily lessons. Sophia is a great student, leader, and young lady with the potential to reach all of her desired goals. Eagle of the Year, Brendan Rodella. Brendan has proven to be multi-talented this year. He maintained above a 3.5 GPA, along with having perfect attendance. His behavior on campus has been exceptional. Additionally, he has participated in community theater. Brendan has also been a pivotal part of the ALMS marching band and winter percussion competition team. Eagle of the Year, Allison McColl. Allison is a very well-rounded young lady. She has maintained a 4.0 GPA. Allison participated and earned first place in the District History Day competition. She is a member of CJSF and received the Gold Cord Honor. Allison plays tennis, is involved in Girl Scouts and Mexican dance. She received the Student of Character Award and is involved in the leadership class. In addition, Allison also volunteers her time for various causes in the Selma community. Athlete of the Year, Javon Hicks. Javon excelled as our top athlete his two years at Abraham Lincoln Middle School. His coaches had nothing but high praise and admiration as a great student athlete and team leader. Javon has been called a very coachable young man. Athlete of the Year, Kamara Dement. Kamara excelled as a two-sport athlete both years at Abraham Lincoln Middle School. Her coaches praised her coachability, leadership, and athleticism. Again, congratulations to the award winners. And now, we would like to honor every eighth grade Abraham Lincoln Middle School student that is being promoted.
joining us to celebrate the Abraham Lincoln Middle School 8th grade class. Family and friends, I present to you the Selma High School Class of 2024.